in today's show. I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis, as well as breaking news. The 14th richest man, Michael Dell, the CEO of Dell Computers, worth approximately $120 billion with Dell sitting on $6 billion in cash. Will they become the next MicroStrategy? Because Michael Dell just posted an image of the Cookie Monster eating some bitties, so you already know. I'm also going to be sharing with you an $8 million uh, Bitcoin price prediction from Joe Burnett, as well as the latest from Max Kaiser. We're also going to be sharing the German government unloads more than $195 million worth of seized Bitcoin, according to Arkham Intelligence, as well as is Standard Chartered setting up a Bitcoin and an Ethereum trading desk? We'll be discussing this, as well as Bitcoin reclaims blockchain dominance post Bitcoin halving, as well as Marathon's BTC mining is heating an entire town in Finland. We're also going to be discussing Bitcoin approaching $240,000 post halving parabolic advance phase, according to the Real Vision analysts. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more in today's show. Oh my gosh, it's finally almost here. JV is going to talk to us. Crypto news is near. I can't stand away. There is no defeating. I waited all day. Maybe I need a life. But Bitcoin is all I can think. Welcome, crypto fam. A great BTFD opportunity. Pull a Mikey Sailor and smash by those biddies. But anyways, fam, if you're just joining the stream, very important to smash those likes and subscribe to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Also hit the bell icon to turn on all notifications and repost this over on X is greatly appreciated. And let's get those biddies up, shall we? Uh, today is pod episode number 1677. I'm your host, JV, and it's June 21st, 2020. Fo. That's right. Let's kick it off with our market watch as we do each and every day. It should be popping up here in your screen. Green. There we go. We can see Bitcoin currently trading at 64,400 at the time of the live stream. We got Ether in the green trading above 3,500 as the majority of the alts are correcting and in the red. And checking out coinmarketcap.com. The current crypto market cap sits at $2.35 trillion. And we have the Bitcoin market cap just shy of $1.3 three trillion dollars and checking out the top 100 crypto gainers for the past 24 hours already leading the pack but very modest gains as the majority of the alts are correcting so only up three percent pepe up three percent and injective up two percent below that phantom maker and our weave now which altcoins family are you guys most bullish on for this particular bull holla at your boy and checking out the crypto bubbles to get a visual perspective on the daily safe to say 80 percent of the market in the red maybe only 20 percent in the green and zooming out on the monthly to get that broader perspective. Now it's like the alts bleeding like a mofo, approximately 90 to 95% of the market bleeding and in the red. And checking out coin market, I'm sorry, checking out the crypto greed and fear index. We're currently rated a 63 in greed. Yesterday, 60, last week at 74, and last month at 76 and extreme greed. Uh, so there you have it, my crypto fam. We'll be looking at the live charts here in a bit if you'd like to do that. A great BTFD opportunity. I mean, we tap 63 again. We're back above 64. We may be back above 65,000 before the end of the stream. Time shall tell. But anyways, fam, we're going to continue with a little Bitcoin technical analysis, aka astrology for the bro skis, how we do. Headline reads, watch these Bitcoin price support levels as Bitcoin tumbles below 64,000. Uh, here you're looking at the the one hour chart, Bitcoin neared six week lows June 21st as traders warned that buyers had yet to step in. Uh, Trading View tracked another day of problematic Bitcoin price action as we tapped a new low of 63,356 
on Bitstamp. How many of you seize the moment taking advantage of that dip? Put a BTFD in the live chat. And analyzing the current market structure, uh, structure SKU acknowledged some buyer interest was returning at the lows, but sustained bidding would be needed to fuel a broader recovery. Uh, quoting him here, a lot of the shorting by looks of it and spot selling into the price around the, the lows uh, need to see the buyers push for control to get a bounce. SKU also lamented a lack of real market participation with the price at the mercy of automated trading algorithms throughout the week. That's right. Uh, quoting them here. This is from Roman. Looks like the price wants 60 Gs once again, as the one day is currently losing 64.5. The four hour has the bull divs all over the RSI and the MACD. So subject to change. And he also obviously is referring here to the relative strength index and the average convergence divergence, which are indicators we commonly use even here when we do the pump watches. And we'll show you some of those here live in a moment. Bitcoin failed to reclaim the range lows and continues to bleed lower while the RSI stays above the 30 level and calling it interesting behavior. And with its latest dive, Bitcoin reached and crossed a key bull market trend line in the form of the short-term hodler cost basis, also known as the realized price. And at 64,000, this has acted as support already unchallenged since the end of 2022's bear market. The event was not lost on market observers, according to the on-chain college, uh, quoting them here, a nice breakout above the short-term hodler cost base now with price at 64.2, with the short-term hodlers at 64,000. Let's see how it interacts at this level throughout the day. And then we have Keith Allen of Material Indicators, who shares some insights uh, as well, and cautioned that the order book liquidity was relatively low uh, around the area. And in other breaking news, this is pretty major, Dell CEO and billionaire, Michael Dell posted this picture of the Cookie Monster eating bitties. So you already know what that means. And this is significant because he's worth $120 billion, the 14th largest richest man in the world. Will uh, Dell become the next MicroStrategy? Uh, quoting the Bitcoin therapist, founder and CEO of Dell Technologies, Michael Dell is the majority shareholder, owning almost 60% of the stock. Dell is sitting on $6 billion in cash, and now he's posting about Bitcoin. Are we going to see another billionaire pull out the MicroStrategy playbook? What are your thoughts? And this is pretty major news. We'll dive deeper into this story uh, tomorrow. And also an analyst, uh, Joe Burnett, he recently shared, Bitcoin may rewire the foundation of the entire global financial system, remove unnecessary middlemen, 100x total global wealth, and cause explosive economic growth. 100x more wealth plus higher hurdle rate equals explosive economic growth. $8 million Bitcoin is early. Amen. And uh, quoting Max Kaiser, grid going down means nothing. The Bitcoin network keeps going with the mesh networks. Those for all you panic pants out there. What happens when the grid goes down? You lose all your Bitcoin. No, uh, we have alternative technology. So you can still use your biddies uh, via mesh networks. And there's alternative technology as well. We can dive into some time. But nonetheless, let's now look at some of the live charts really quick. We'll see what's popping. Give me a second to pull up the other scene. Let's see. Live pump watch. Boom. Shakalaka. So yeah, here uh, we're currently looking at the four hour chart. We do have a target in the red. You can see in the north sitting at 71,000. And we do have a target to the south sitting at roughly $60,500. Let's zoom out for a broader perspective. Let's look at the one day chart. Here we go. Uh, the one day chart, there's a lot of action as you can see on your screen as well. And these are the live charts right now via TradingView brought to you by Coinbase. These are the Coinbase live price actions. And as you can see, we do have a target in the red on the one day chart uh, sitting at 72.9. And we do have a target below that sitting at 61.1. We're also going to look at the weekly chart really quick, a little broader perspective. And here we are. Whoa. So yeah, I mean, looking bullish to me, in my humble opinion, uh, the one week chart, let me know your thoughts and let's zoom in a little. Let's look at the one hour chart and then we'll look at the 15 minute chart really quick. So this is the one hour chart on your screen right now. And you see a big fat target sitting at 71,300 and a target to the south sitting at 61.8. And the indicators you see below that is actually the RSI we were discussing earlier, which is the relative strength index. Uh, and then we have the MACD uh, live and in the flesh. And now let's zoom in to the 15 minute chart and see what's crack a lacking. We do have a target you can see in the green sitting at 65. Three, a little about a thousand dollars up from here, and we do have some bottom targets uh, sitting at roughly sixty-three thousand dollars. So there you have it. 
my crypto fam. Let me know how many of you are bullish on the current price action and where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Holla at your boy. So yeah, our next story headline reads, German government unloads more than 195 million worth of seized Bitcoin, according to Arcam. That's right, yo. Blockchain analytics firm Arcam says that over the past two days, the German government moved over 195 million worth of the biddies to six crypto exchanges, including Coinbase, Kraken, and Bizstamp. Maybe why we have been dumping here, yo, uh, quoting them here. German government still selling Bitcoin, 195 million so far. In the past two hours, the German government sent 65 million in BTC to two likely exchanges or exchange deposits, including Coinbase. The German government moved 600 million yesterday, sending 130 million BTC to four likely exchange deposits, including Kraken and Bitstamp. And despite transferring a substantial amount of the biddies to the crypto exchanges, Germany still holds over 47,000 179 BTC worth over $3 billion. USA, where are you at? Now, Germany is selling the stash of the Bitcoin that the law enforcement authorities seized while probing Movie. 2K.2, the now defunct illegal streaming site, which was accused of distributing more than 880,000 pirated films between 2008 and May 2013. Now, the Dresden Public Prosecutor's Office said that the two operators of the site purchased Bitcoin using the proceeds of their illicit activities. The Bitcoin seizure in connection with the investigation is the largest of its kind in Germany. To date, police confiscated nearly 50,000 BTC, worth over $2 billion at the time. The seized assets are now valued at three and a quarter billion dollars. So there you go. Maybe that's part of the reason the markets have been correcting at the way they have uh, with the German authorities uh, sending all of the biddies to the exchanges, ultimately to offload them, right? Which would create a lot of sell pressure in the markets. Next story of the day, uh, we discussed 195 million being offloaded. Now let's discuss our next story of the day. Uh, the headline reads, is Standard Chartered setting up a Bitcoin and an Ethereum trading desk? And just FYI, the primary shareholder of Standard Chartered Bank is BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, so you already know. The multinational bank Standard Chartered may be working to launch a Bitcoin and Ether trading desks, just like JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon. If launched, this would make the bank one of the first global banking institutions to get into the spot crypto trading. In fact, uh, June 21st, Bloomberg reported that the crypto desk will soon begin operations. Citing anonymous sources, the report suggests the offering will be under the bank's FX trading until unit and operate under London, the UK. And uh, Standard Chartered, the bank uh, hasn't confirmed or denied the report. However, the bank revealed there has been a demand for their clients to get into the biddies and ETH, uh, quoting the bank here. We have been working closely with our regulators to support demand from our institutional clients to trade Bitcoin and Ether in line with our strategy to support clients across the wider digital asset ecosystem from access to custody and tokenization and interoperability. The Standard Chartered representative declined to provide any further comments. So that's what we know for fact. And while Standard Charter does not yet confirm the move, the crypto community members celebrated the potential development. A Twitter user believed that the move may be a significant step and a major endorsement of the crypto's growing legitimacy. Facts. Furthermore, the user believes this may boost investor confidence and drive adoption. Facts. Biddy up, fam. Another user echoed the sentiment and said Bitcoin and Ether trading could be seen more mainstream acceptance because of the new development. And we also had the new Binance CEO, Richard Tang, who shared the following welcoming of the multinational bank to crypto, as he shared in this tweet on X. Welcome to crypto, Standard Chartered. So game on. And uh, so you already know. And in addition to Standard Chartered, multinational bank Goldman Sachs where Gary Gensler comes from, yo, expressed that many of its clients are showing renewed interest in crypto assets this year, as they should. Uh, Goldman Sachs executive Max Minton highlighted that the clients are exploring the crypto sector. Minton said that the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the United States triggered the resurgence of institutional interests. So there you go. Institutional FOMO, like a mofo for my crypto bros. Let's go. But anyways, fam, next story of the day, eh? Uh, we discussed the latest with the trading desk. Now let's discuss this Bitcoin dominance. Headline here reads, Bitcoin reclaims blockchain dominance post Bitcoin having. That's right. Bitcoin's blockchain bandwidth usage has exceeded 90% for the first time since the having event. 
back on April 19th, in which we witnessed and ushered in live on the channel. How lit was that? That Bitcoin having watch, fam. Let me know. Now, despite facing an extended level of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, which we know as FUD, Bitcoin adoption, transaction, and trading activity remain unfettered. Uh, Dune Analytics user uh, Crypto Corio's chart portrays the defining moment on June 20th when Bitcoin's 91.4% dominance superseded the 6.8% for runes, 1.6% for the BRC20s, and 0.2% for ordinals and transactional share. Now, the increase in the bandwidth usage after the halving can be primarily attributed to the adoption of the new token standards, including runes and BRC20. Dune Analytics data shows a significant rise in transactions involving both token standards, particularly on April 20th. 23rd, when the runes transactions exceeded 750,000. And uh, speaking of Cointelegraph, uh, Bitfinex shared the following new token standards, such as the BRC20 and ordinals, have also contributed to more incentivization, uh, incentivization, and pronounce this properly, incentivization to build on Bitcoin rather than other chains as Bitcoin's ecosystem keeps gaining more mind share. Runes were designed to establish fungible tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain, aka NFTs, and gain widespread traction, resulting in higher transaction volume. And paired with the adoption of the BRC20s, the rise of more complex transitions, Bitcoin blockchain interaction significantly increased the chain's bandwidth load. The recent April Bitcoin halving event, which reduced block rewards for miners by 50%, led to miners prioritizing transactions with the higher fees to compensate the reduction and rewards. And on the topic of the halving event's impact on the Bitcoin blockchain, Here's what the Bitfinex analyst had to share. After the halving event, there is typically heightened on-chain activity. Traders and investors adjust their positions, leading to more transactions being broadcast across the network. Now, the typical pattern resulted in an increased number of transactions being processed and gave momentum to the steady surge in BTC's blockchain bandwidth usage. So there you go, family. I mean, Bitcoin on a roll. Let's go. The next headline here reads, Marathon Digital's Bitcoin mining is heating an entire town in Finland. Shout out to the Finlanders. Bitcoin mining is warming the entire town in Finland thanks to the new project by the world's largest Bitcoin mining company. Uh, Marathon Digital Holdings launched a pilot project that uses recycled heat from Bitcoin mining to warm the houses of over 11,000 residents. Winning. Imagine if we actually had that in the United States. But I'm not holding my breath, family. You already know. The two megawatt pilot project located in Sata Kunte region was announced on a June 20th post on X. In Finland, we launched a two megawatt pilot project to warm a community of 11,000 residents with recycled heat from digital asset computing. Can you say free energy? Good Lord, that's amazing. The Finland-based facility marks Marathon's first district heating-based pilot project in the Euro uh, area. And uh, Marathon's new facility used a method called district heating, which centrally heats the water and distributes it through an underground network of pipes to heat houses. This could prove to be a future-proof method for heating the homes since the Bitcoin mining rigs produce a significant amount of excess heat. That's right. Marathon is the world's largest Bitcoin mining firm worth over 5.8 billions. They're climbing fast. How many of you have exposure to Bitcoin mining stocks such as Marathon or CleanSpark? Uh, let me know. So Marathon has basically 33% more compared to the second largest company, which is CleanSpark at 4.36 billion, still massive. And that's according to coin market cap data. As you can see here, Marathon Digital at 5.84 billion, CleanSpark at 4.36 billion, Riot Blockchain 3 billion, Phoenix 2.8 billion, Iris Energy 2 billion, Cypher Mining 1.8 billion, 6 billion, Core Scientific, 1.6 billion, Terra Wolf, 1.5 billion, BitDeer, 1.3 billion, and BitFarms, 1.2 billion. So there you go, family. Now, on the smaller scale, some companies are already working on Bitcoin mining based local heating units for their homes. Some of the most popular solutions include HeatBit, which is a marketed as a plug and play heating and air purifying machine that mines the Bitcoin at 10 terahashes per second. And here's an example of the Bitcoin heater family. How many of you would love a Bitcoin heater for some free energy? And imagine if the government actually did something kind to you. That's mind-boggling. It's just so rare uh, that 
actually happens in the world, or at least in this part of the world, but I digress. There you go, family. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know. And how many of you have exposure to any of the Bitcoin miners? Holla at your boy. Now let's dive into our feature story of the day, eh? Bitcoin approaching a $240,000 post-having parabolic advance phase, according to Real Vision analysts. That's right, as you can see here in the headline. But yeah, Real Vision macro expert Julian Battelle believes that Bitcoin is on the verge of going parabolic. Based on historical precedents, well, let's go parabolic. What do you say to that, fam? How your boy? He tells his followers on X that Bitcoin is in a historical boring phase ahead of an expected banana rally that could come after the having events when the miners' rewards get cut in half. In fact, let's actually read his tweet verbatim over here in X, uh, quoting Julian Battelle of Real Vision. What we're currently witnessing in terms of Bitcoin price action is fairly typical around the actual halving. A big pump leading into the halving, followed by a brief but sharp correction, a period of sideways chop, a final dump to nuke any remaining bullish sentiment, and another phase of boring sideways trading, and eventually prices beginning to rise again. Basically, it is the boring zone before the banana zone. Patience, friends. So are you ready for this banana zone? It shows us peaking at roughly 240,000 according to the chart, and that would be around May of 2025. Let me know your thoughts on that sentiment. I'm going to read a little deeper into the article. So yeah, looking at the chart, the analyst suggests Bitcoin to hit 240,000 by May 2025. Let's go. Next up, Real Vision Chief Executive, Mr. Raul Pal. He shares uh, that Ethereum's competitor Solana may have formed the market bottom. We all know Raul Pal is extremely bullish on Solana. I remember a while back, may have been a year ago, two years ago, but it's been a minute. He said that he dumped most of his Bitcoin and was like all in on Solana, which was like, we're like, what? Why would you ever do that? But nonetheless, uh, here's his opinion. He shared, if you wanted a cheeky top up of your sole position, this would likely be a good entry zone. Let's see. The bananas are slowly ripening, but should be magnificent in the autumn. So he's ultimately saying he believes that Solana has bottomed out. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that sentiment. So looking at the yearly chart, he suggests it's forming a bullish converging trend line pattern. And uh, But anyways, family, you know it's all about the biddies. I want to know your personal thoughts on this 240000 price prediction, in which you can see I'll blow up the chart here over on X. Uh, you notice the Bitcoin halving zone we were in, which we passed. Right now, we're in the boring zone. Notice that boring zone. And we're about to hit Banana zone. Banana zone is going to take us to 100 G's so we can have that 100K fiesta here in Puerto Rico. Go to 200 G's, 240 G's, and who knows? We may go to 500 G's. We may go to a milli. There's no telling. Here's the facts. Bitcoin has no top because fiat has no bottom. So when do you feel the Bitcoin price likely to hit? around that quarter million price action. Holla at your boy, and I'm gonna read as many of your comments out loud. Welcome to the live Q&A segment of the live show. Let's go. Feel free to drop any comments or ask me anything you want. If you're watching, if you're one of the 2,200 plus people on X watching this, if you wanna interact in the chat, which I encourage you to do, visit the YouTube channel. The direct link is cryptonewsalerts.net as the current comment stream is from. Uh, YouTube, but also shout out to X and Rumble. We're streaming on the three platforms right now. Let's go. Uh, one MBTC, right on. JBZ breaking down the math. Unless it goes parabolic before the expected time, the catalyst can't be held down forever. We are in unprecedented times. Real talk, 100%. Bitcoin on track for 2025. Also, it's now a big topic of conversation around the election. Let's not forget that. Trump is pushing very bullish Bitcoin sentiment. He says he's going to protect our right to self-custody and even pardon Ross Albrick. He says on day one, if he gets elected as president. So Bitcoin game theory in full effect. We have a global hash war, as Max Kaiser has been predicting for years, playing out. In real time, family, French Toaster says 200,000, bring it. SDIG recycles the coal from the old coal mines in Pennsylvania to make for the electricity and gets incentivized and incentivizes this as well. Ether, 200,000 with Biden or 780,000. Oh, either, either. Either 200,000 with Biden or 780 with a, a, a Trump pump. I'd go with the Trump pump. What do you guys got to say to that? 140 low, 500 a high. I appreciate the sharing uh, stress-free what to do. Happy full moon Friday. And speaking of the full moon, here's a brand new jammy jam. I'm going to play with you but we'll interact as we go so I can read your comments as well. But this is 
brand new track I co-wrote with Chandy, and she produced it. We just dropped it. We premiered it at the beginning of the show. We're going to play it again because it's that damn good. Enjoy it. Strawberry kissed on me Under the moon by a fire Strawberry full moon Take me, light it up, fire it up A fire under a full moon It's a strawberry yum Fill me up, fill my cup Kind of Bitcoin power moon Fill me up and raise it up Pretty please Strawberry yum Fly to the moon Come, I need you to come with me Biddy up fam, it's that time. Happy full moon. Let's go. Full moon Friday. Bring it. Just a little curious. Libro. Wanna pump Bitcoin under the full moon with me. With me. Let's pump biddies up under the full moon. We got the sage lit game time. Wop, wop, wop. Bitcoin pump it up. Imagine dragon, 2024, year of the dragon, thunder, before the lightning, I'm thirsty, are you feeling thunder, are you feeling hunger, I'm craving, being under the thunder, let's pump the bitty, mm-mm, oh, doing, 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 dead danger V, do you have anything to say, mm, rap with me, baby, this is the chance for all my Bitcoin champs to do the moonlight Bitcoin dance, I hit them up like pop. The Bitcoin rats, my balls is hot, sit in my big boy pants I trust the bitty like Biggie when he trusted Diddy I trust the bitty like Eminem, how we trusted Fitty The Citadel isn't just a city This is Bitcoin, Camelot, just as pretty Cinderella, Chandela, Cinderella, take a day The moon comes up when the sun goes down I wanna go down and get down while the loon well said, Filsey. You nailed it. Why would a country sell precious Bitcoin for something they can print out of thin air? It's because our country, or at least the shadow government that run the country, are enemies of Bitcoin. That's the only logical reason. Welcome two for one. Good to see you, brother. Uh, we know we can outlast the bears. We did it. And now we have to outlast the manipulators. We can do it. Patience is the key. And we will win against the institutions. Amen to that. I'll spark the sage to that. Amen, JC. Do my energy going up. I feel the Bitcoin soaring up. I want to fill my cup. I don't want to overflow. I just want security, you know. And my house in Wonderland. Oh, Let's get that strawberry fire. Pump the likes, pump the stream. We got 2,500 people here live and in the flesh. We appreciate all the support. Repost it and enjoy the jammy jam. Come on, let's dance. Shake it down to bring it up. Move with the hips, give me sexy dips. Hitting ball rips as soon as it dips. BTSD to the lunar eclipse. Stacking BTC till I'm losing my grip. Stacking BTC while I'm feeding the nip. Stacking BTC because fee out of shit. Stacking BTC is what you need to get rich. Stacking BTC, you be the shit that's a bitch. Spinderella hit back. Spin it. Sexy little Bitcoin mama. Take it. It's hard thinking out of the box Eyes draining, going through fiat detox I'm thirsty, that's true, but I'm worthy I appreciate the Supers family, you guys are incredible Shout out Dr. Sauce, appreciate you brother And shout out Mr. Bone Daddy, just gifted five memberships to the channel Congratulations, two for one French Toaster, we have Crypto Explorer We have GG, and we have uh, Dream Tanks TV That's the beauty of joining the chat you guys get hooked up on the tube. That's why I encourage the 2,400 people right now on X. Join YouTube. You may get hooked up next. You just never know. Our community is amazing. And I truly mean that. Thanks again, family. You guys are the best. And so are you. Mm -mm, do -doing, do -doing. I want a freaking strawberry kind of duck doing full moon pump. Kind of moon that makes belly full of strawberry full moon. Now with an actual baby talking to you, baby. Baby, just 
Shout out to the entire Bitcoin fam. Over 2,500 people on the stream right now. Repost this, spread the word. This is the live Q&A segment. We're pre premiering a brand new track just released today, uh, produced by Chandy, co-written, 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 uh, by me. Uh, wow, and Chandy just dropped a $20 super. Not only is she contributing to the show every day by producing unique music, She's like gifting memberships and sending supers. You're just a remarkable human being. Uh, thank you, Chandy. Everyone manifests the success of Bitcoin under the strawberry moon. Amen. That's why we have the sage lit right now. Everyone's going to be manifesting success this evening under this strawberry, strawberry moon. Amen to that. And let's get those biddies up, family. Strawberry food, like JV. It's back to you. Take it, baby. Let's go. JV, can you hit it? Pretty please, mm hmm, excite me. Sure thing, Cinderella, I got you under the full moon. I'm feeling like Voltron, I'm so on, transform to a great ape like Gohan. I'm so bomb, yet I remain so calm. A Bitcoin Super Saiyan, so strong. This is Gohan versus Vegeta. Bitcoin is so long, like chasing the cheetah, chasing the zebra, like Derek Jeter, chasing the sea, racing the beach, and the apex predator. The comments are amazing. We appreciate all the feedback to the new Jammy Jam. Every comment I've seen thus far has been positive. Uh, so thank you, family. Shout out uh, Dr. Saw. Shout out PETA representing Russia and the rest of the fam. Welcome to the stream. Let's go. She don't want a Lambo. She's a moon girl. Respect. Not a fancy girl, I'm a lunar girl, I'm a bitty, flying high way to soar. OMG, love, OMG. Cheers, Guido, appreciate the feedback, brother. Stress free, loving it, dig it, dig it. Matt Baker, cheers, family, we appreciate it. Cheap girl, we don't have to agree on everything, love. Lo lo loyal to humanity and our destinies, baby, Bitcoin destinies. Always manifesting strawberry moon. Wow, gotta get ready now. So, Roger, full moon, baby, up now. Roger out. Mm -hmm. Get them biddies up.